Hello everyone, this is Cameron Asselstein here. Uh, I'm here for another tutorial, because you guys have been requesting it so often. Uh, this is a second tutorial on model scaling, because if you look on SourceFilmmaker.com, Christmas came a little early this year apparently. And we are now able to scale models with, within SFM, which is something source filmmakers like you and I have been waiting for endlessly. There have also been some updates to the workshop with what you can post on there. It's, it's pretty cool. You can go look at the post on SourceFilmmaker.com. But anyways, we all have, we have a Source Filmmaker open right here. You'll notice that uh, I set up a short a keyboard shortcut here. Uh, as a standard, if you could Control alt shift e that'll open up your keyboard shortcuts. And then uh, I really recommend looking at this and setting some new shortcuts because there are a lot of features in here that aren't actually included in SFM standardly, or via, or that I knew of before. So uh, check it out and uh, start setting up your keyboard shortcuts, start training yourself. Uh, it can make your workflow a lot faster. It certainly has for me, because, you know, look at that. Full screen, minimize, yeah, there you go. Alright, so, I've just set up a basic lighting setup here, just two point. Uh, let's open up a new model, and let's open up the Chief. Oh, not that, not the Halo 1 Chief. Not the Halo 2 Chief, Halo 4. There we go. Got to keep it current. Switch to your rotate tool, switch them around here. Yeah, right there, that works fine. Alright, so, the way that model scaling works in SFM, I've done a little bit of research for you guys. Not research, I've just toyed around with it, really. But anyways, to activate model scaling in SFM, what you need to do is you need to right-click on your model that you want to scale, and in Utilities here, in the drop-down menu, there is Add Scale Control to Models. And under your root transform here, you will have a new uh, transform tool. And if you go to the slider tool right here, then you can now scale Master Chief however small or big you want him to be. Holy shit. Alright, anyways, I'm just going to undo the root transform scale control there. Alright, so now we have just standard Master Chief here. The way that model scaling works with individual joints so let's say we want to make just his head really, really big. To do that, it's the same thing, except there's no utilities menu. So all you do is right click, and then you just hit Add Scale Control to Transforms. You'll get a little added control down here, and then you can make his head really big or completely disappear. It's up to you. Now as a few added notes, each successive or connected joint or bone uh, is affected by scaling unless those connected joints are enabled. So to make sense of that, uh, if you have this arm right here, you have the upper arm, if you select that and add scale control transforms to that, there we go, it will also affect every connected joint to it. It's going to connect, his, it's going to affect his forearm, his hand, his fingers, everything after that joint. But if you select a joint after that, like say we select this hand, then we can add another scale control and affect it however we want. Holy shit, this is this is turning into a freak of nature here. This is like the one-armed masturbator Master Chief. So just to put this in perspective, uh, when you do this, uh, the connected joints stay in relative size to the parent joints. So we just affected his hand right here, so uh, it's only going to transform in relative size to its parent joint. Now that pretty much covers the ins and outs for model scaling as it stands right now in its kind of beta state. Uh, another note that I can give you guys is if you are locking something to something that has model scaling transforms added to it, uh, say we have Master Chief over here, if we add... Oh, not a light. Whoops. Go model. And say we grab... Whatever, we'll just make it Halo 3 Master Chief. So, if we open up the arms right here, we have the left hand right here, and the left hand affected by model scaling. So, if we hand that over to the left hand, this is an unaffected hand, you will see, if we move the playhead around a little bit, that it now makes it the same size as the affected hand, and puts it in relative distance to it. The way to prevent this is to kind of well, there's not really a way to prevent it other than this right now. If you have a way and you found out, then let me know. 
but if you add model scale transforms to that new unaffected locked joint, then what you can do is add model scaling to that unaffected joint and then move it back into place. It's a bit tedious, but you know that's that's kind of what needs to be done right now until some updates are made. Oh, that's not right. That doesn't really matter right now anyway. But anyways, uh, with this new feature, this is, uh, this is going to be some cool stuff coming out of SFM now. Just the fact that you can add a model transform scale and completely get rid of something's head, you could even go ahead and make something like, like this monstrosity. Alas, poor York. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the tutorial today, guys. Uh, I just wanted to address some other questions that people have been asking me. Uh, people have been asking me if I could make how to animate tutorials. I'm not going to be doing this anytime soon because I personally don't believe that I am at the point where I can be teaching other people how to animate as I'm still currently in the beginning stages of learning. But anyways, uh, I'm also thinking about doing a mocap tutorial, that's motion capture, uh, with Ipisoft Recorder and Mocap Studio. Uh, I've purchased the software, and uh, if you guys are interested in a tutorial on how to use it, there is a free 30-day trial if you guys are interested in trying it out and seeing if you want to buy it. Uh, I can show you how to use it. Uh, if you're interested in that, then let me know. But until then, guys, uh, thank you for watching this video, and uh, have a good day.